Hey what's up, it's Chris from Rooker Films and in today's video I'm going to show you this really awesome way to censor faces right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now once you've got some footage into your timeline, as you can see there's some footage of me wearing some sunglasses looking a little bit weird, but we're going to use this footage and in order to begin this effect, we first want to start by making a duplicate copy of that footage. So there's two ways of doing this, you can either select the video, hold command C, move the cursor over and press command V, then drag that one on top. Or if we delete that, you can hold option on your keyboard. This is if you're on Mac and pull the first video clip up to video track two and you should have a copied video. So now that you've got the copied video, we want to go ahead and we want to track the face. And in order to do this, we just want to first start by making a circle mask around the face. So we'll create ellipse mask We'll place that on the face just there. We'll just expand the points out just a little bit, just make this a little bit wider than the face. And then we're gonna turn off the background layer. Now, making sure the cursor head is at the very beginning of the video, you just want to press the play button and the computer is going to take a minute to track the movement of the head. And as you can see, as this progress bar is moving closer and closer to the finish line, the mask is moving with the face. Now we're just gonna stop that there. We don't need to wait for this entire process to finish, but we'll just stop that there. As you can see, we've got this mask following the movement of the face. So we can turn the original layer back on by pressing the eyeball. We'll go into effects and search for mosaic. And that should be in the stylized tab. So in stylized, we should see mosaic. And we're just gonna drop mosaic onto video layer two. And there you go. You can kind of already see what this is going to do to the footage. So of course in Mosaic, you can increase the horizontal blocks or alternatively you can increase the vertical blocks as well. It's completely up to you. Just depends on how you want this to look. Typically, if you see a centering in TV, it would look something like 50 by 50 pixels. So you can still kind of see the structure of the face, but you can't see who that face belongs to. Now there's just one final thing to do before we finish off that effect. And that is to go back into the mask of the second video we're going to pull up the mask feather just a little bit, just to ease that in, just to blend that out with the rest of the video. And if we play that back from the very beginning, there you go. We have successfully centered the person in this video. Rather than blurring out the face, we've done this really awesome mosaic pixel blur effect. It looks really awesome and it's a really easy effect. So there you go. That is how you center faces right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And there you go. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you then.